Hi, this is my friend Ernie Rhodes. Hi. And he's a famous designer. Production oh. designer? No. Well, I'd like to be, but no, interior well, designer. Interior designer. He's really, really famous. And, and we're in Seattle. We're in his house. I'm Jason Stewart. I'm a, what am I? You're an actor. Yeah. Comedian. And a, and a stand-up comedian. And uh, we were reading this article in, by his friend Carol Jordan, who told us about this article that was in The Stranger, written by Dan Savage. And it was about these kids, uh, which is it called, the, it's right here with us. Things will get better. Things will get better. Or it will get better. It will get better. And just for everybody who's listening out at home, I grew up in Los Angeles, California. And when I was in junior high school, they would give everybody a locker. And on the lockers, uh, they would be uh, the same lockers for the, uh, probably the three years that you're in school. And in the seventh grade, which was the first year I went to junior high school, some kid with a nail scraped really, really lightly on the locker fag. Yeah. And I opened that every day for three years. And I never told anybody, not until I was in my 30s, which was around two years ago. Oh, <laughs> Be nice. And it changed my life. And I was one of those kids that were abused when I was a kid. And I was able to turn that around through therapy, through going through workshops, through, and that's how I met my friend Ernie at the Experience Workshop right. around in, 20 in years Phoenix, ago. Arizona, in Phoenix, Arizona. Phoenix, Arizona, around 20 years ago. And no, was, was it in Phoenix? It was outside of Phoenix in Paulden, Arizona, where oh, we spent I can't remember. thousands of dollars just to go be in yeah, the desert. I can't there. remember. I'm much too self-involved. Mm -hmm. But what's really important is, is that friendship like this and going past your fears and being who you are is much more important. Although I'd have to say, if I knew you in middle school or junior high, we'd be in the juvie. Oh, we We'd would. probably be in Sing Sing now. He wouldn't you know, beat me up anyway. Taking it like real men. My well, I grew up on the West Coast too, and uh, Seattle, Washington. Right. Well, actually, oh, I grew up in a town called Bremerton, which is, um, well, at one time it had a population of ninety thousand because of World War Two. But when I grew Woo! up there, uh, it had maybe thirty five thousand people. It was a Navy town, like that isn't a dead giveaway. Mm -hmm. That um, basically it was a, a very transient population. So as I was going to grade school friends that I made, they would kind of rotate out. And then as I got older, uh, the children tended to be officers' children, so they were more stationary. And um, there was taunting and teasing. I think uh, I uh, always related to being gay and, um, uh, you know, through actions and speech or just, you know, uh, someone's gaydar. You we know, I'm definitely we, a blip on someone's gaydar. But we were just different, and we were just right. different. Artistic. Uh, Smart, funny, intelligent. Yeah, so, you know, the jocks were Changers, the leaders. No. Uh, anyway, you know, growing up in this town that was a, a, a Navy town that, um, uh, you know, you'd think it'd be a little bit more worldly. Um, the solution I had to the bullying, though, was is that uh, I sought out the other gay boys and, and our fag hags, you know, the girls that like to hang out with us in junior high and high school. I think school. they're called fruit flies now. Okay. Well. Uh, basically, I made my own gang. I mean, it was like a gang of queer boys and our, our girls. So, uh, you know, when you travel So you're, what, numbers, he, what he's saying is he created a community where he was living. That's right. I created a community through the acting community, through the stand-up comedy community, through the film and television community, and I got to be who I am, and I got to be... Uh, respected for who I am and I also did a lot of service in my community to help the other kids I, I, I help I, I put on a benefit every year for LifeWorks which is in Los Angeles called LifeWorksLA.org which uh, supports gay kids between the ages of 12 and 24 uh, being mentored showing them the way and I wish that someone would show me the way and Ernie has shown me the way just a bit like, well right? you too you know and I I don't know I um, at one point I think I was in the sixth grade and I had this good friend that uh, Danny he and I hung out. He was like the, the brother I never had. My parents let him uh, stay at the house with us that um, his dad was on a ship and his mother had his other siblings and I don't, I don't know. I'm she missed him not already. being around enough. So but anyway, get to the point. The point was is that we were good friends and I always thought I loved cross-dressing as a kid. And not that I, you know, don't dabble with it as an adult, but Haven't there was one it. time I really thought that I was maybe going to be a transgendered person or maybe have a sex gene. I thought you be. were. No, I'm not. Oh, okay. These tits are not real. But um, I think that, I, you know, when I shot up to six foot two and uh, my voice deepened and I got over 200 pounds and 
you know, and my penis became so enormous, I no longer wanted to be a woman. Okay, that's a lot of information. Well, TMI, I want, we, but... We want to help you kids out there. We want to support you. My website is jasonstewart.com, S-T-U-A-R-T. Please uh, go keep in touch. Be yourself. Just remember, when you're out, you're not just out for me. You're out for yourself, and I'm out for you. We're all out for each other. And, and it, it does get better. Oh I mean, God, you find does. friends. I mean, I live with my partner of 21 years who's a hairdresser. I'm an interior designer. I mean, how freaking gay does that get? I mean, that reminds me of the time that David and I went to Canada. We were stopped this at has Customs. Become, this has become a mini-series now. It has. No one's going to no. listen to it. It's too but, long. Well, it's only what? It's over, well, it's five minutes. So it does get better. But, you know, we were stopped at the border, and I thought we were going to be, you know, not allowed into the country for because, being too queer. Oh. You know, hairdresser, interior, interior designer, when they stop you and ask you, you know, where are you from? What do you do for a living? I'm and, dating an artist. What can you say? Well, when I, I we were when I'm still through, single. basically. Yeah. Well, I love you to death. You too. Be yourself. Yes. It gets better. It does get better.